Belize's education system is at the brink of seeing a complete transformation to improve the content being taught inside the classrooms. The Belize Education Sector Plan, or BEST Plan, focuses on producing citizens who contribute to the national development. The Minister of Education, Francis Fonseca, says the ministry is keen on providing a framework that inculcates students with skills to be self-sustainable. We have a plan for education. We have a vision for education. We believe that we have the right strategies necessary for advancing our education system. But as you all know, of course, education is so much more than the Ministry of Education. We have to come to the table together. Our teachers, of course, are on the front line of education. Without our teachers, Obviously, education will not go anywhere. They are on the front line. So again, there we have to have a constant ongoing engagement with our teachers. We have not been producing the quality students that this country needs, the quality citizens that this country needs to properly develop. And we all have a collective responsibility to change that. That fault will be rectified with the rollout of the BEST plan, which includes the Education Upliftment Project, Together We Rise. This project will address the socio-economic issues plaguing four secondary schools from Southside Belize City that affects their enrollment. These schools are Gwen Lizarraga, Excelsior, Maud Williams, and Sadie Vernon, or GEMS. Students attending GEMS school will be provided with uniforms, stationery, will be part of a feeding program, and according to the ministry's chief education officer, Yolanda Gongora, these schools will also pilot the national curriculum framework. In preparing our students academically, we will refine our focus on competency-based education which is being piloted in all pre-primary, primary schools, and several secondary schools. The new curriculum framework in which they have an opportunity to provide and get immersed in relevant real world problems in the curriculum, allowing them to engage in collaboration and discussion. The new and improved curriculum framework will also accommodate the needs of differently abled students. CEO Diane Mejia highlighted that this is the first time special education needs are prioritized on this level. We have been able to execute successfully, um, actually not just for the first two weeks of August, but since the beginning of this calendar year, an unprecedented number of trainings in special education. Things, uh, trainings that are geared toward teachers, geared uh, toward parents in some cases, and even the parent trainings are attended by teachers. There is, There has never been in this country as much formalized attention that has been put toward uh, raising awareness and helping to support uh, the, the teachers who are in the classroom managing the students with special education needs as has been done over the past few months. The BEST plan was launched last year and is set to be fully implemented by 2025. For Love News, Giovanna Mogel.